Five minutes before. Okay. Please. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, okay. We are going to start now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a little bit clear. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to talk about IBIS Log, with, which is a, a product made by uh, my company, which is Smallworks, uh, using. Uh, in fact, brief, so you can uh, take it as a, a live demo of the framework I already presented to. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, that means uh, Reef runs also on Gemstone. <laughs> yeah, uh, because uh, is is there where where it is running right now? So well, do you already know who I am? So I can skip this part, but maybe don't know what is Ibis Log. Ibis Log is a massive e-commerce uh, thought for small small business. Uh, a massive e-commerce means an e-commerce made of e-commerces. Uh, there are e-commerces running inside there. Uh, what is our target? Uh, well, we thought this for wha uh, what uh, in Argentina we call PMS, which is uh, small and medium enterprises, <laughs> it's, oh, comp it is the name, and uh, also for uh, even more small enterprises like one person enterprise, uh, and of course the problem to uh, make an application like this is, is this is this is our competition. We are uh, uh, competing with web store and pro store from Amazon and eBay and it's a hard competition but we are confident we are going to succeed <laughs> with time maybe 10 years but we are not hurry so I will log implements uh, all the futures uh, uh, an e-commerce have to implement uh, it's made for different kind of types and uh, has everything it has to you can see there I don't I, I don't want to took much time in this because it's the boring part but it's the business case <laughs> and it's necessary to have some of two or three slides of this but we are going to the how it is made quickly and in one year we are uh, reaching these numbers uh, if uh, someone remembers in the first presentation of Ibis Log in the small talks of last year, uh, there was a just started in three months and we have uh, less than 500 uh, businesses. And a few months more, we have a thousand more running. Uh, for being uh, uh, sincere, just 500 or 600 are useful sites. The other sites are uh, made and le then uh, abandoned, but that's usually because we have a free plan <laughs> and usually just get in, test the, the tool, and sometimes they never come back. But uh, of 150, 600, 600 are using it, so it's a good conversion rate I think <laughs> and well just uh, of these 600 just uh, less than 50 are paying for it but world is not perfect <laughs> is what we have um, well I'm going to show you the tool a little bit this is a, a demo page we prepare Spanish talking people are going to enjoy better this, but 
Uh, this is a page uh, auto uh, generated with some tools. You uh, here you can buy a user uh, tooth uh, cleaner, uh, which is not bad, but it's very cheap and it's almost not used. And it have all the com uh, all the functionality for buying and the shopping cart, which is being filled. You can change it. You can uh, make questions. You can make questions. Oh shit! Why demos always fail, even in uh, productive applications? You can make questions. Uh, using, uh, of course, you can have captures. You can uh, create filters. Let's see this one. You can create filters for uh, your products. By the way, this fil filter is a Reef tool. This is a Reef. Uh, this I'm pointing on my desktop. The, <laughs> the, next, the left one is a. Uh, Reef component and uh, the filter you can see here is another Reef component with uh, it updates uh, by Ajax all the uh, the list. Uh, just just to show as an example. And um, well, this is a small uh, business that we use for testing and for showing. Uh, and it has a con control. Or you can uh, log in. I using my partner uh, login because I don't have one here. And I well, oh, forgive me. I'm a little nervous and bad typing. I'm going to use my user. Which is remember the password and I don't have to type it because <laughs> I don't remember. And well, you have a lot of tools using also uh, some kinds of reef and some, some are sometimes not. It is a some kind of reef because you can uh, uh, put uh, direct URLs, but they are not shown later in the uh, in the location bar. But they are uh, reef. Uh, uh, they are REST uh, URLs, and the problem with this is that I don't have anything to show with AJAX, but I can show you a let me see no, I can show you anything else, that's why I need the other, but it's no problem, this is just for show what the site can do, uh, just what the site can do a, a little bit, uh, and to m make a point when I show you what is, how it is made, uh, which is the in interesting part in, in fact. <laughs> well, so about the technology. We are built on glass, uh, and all you are already know what what is a glass, and we're going to talk a little bit later on a Linux, a simple single Linux, and a quad core, and eight gigabytes of memory. Right now, not m much less. And deployment. Uh, as a matter of fact, there were n not one single problem in our. our in our deployment. Usually when you uh, uh, prepare a, a, an application for production, you have a lot of problems tuning 
the application, tuning the application server, the database, and all the interactions, and uh, uh, take uh, uh, seeing if the database is scaleless. And we just deployed a glass with the standard configuration, three, g three gems and one stone, and it works straightforward. It works without any kind of problem, which makes me really, really happy. That's why I'm a president of the fan club of Gemstone in Argentina, because I really love this tool. It's going, wor it's working really cool. And what, what more can I say? Uh, I never, s just one time, the. Uh, share the share segment, I don't know the name, uh, it became full and I needed to run a garbage collector and I forgot that and then became full and I needed to uh, make a, a full backup and restore and restart all the applications and that took, oh wow, less than half an hour. <laughs> so <laughs> it's very, it's very, uh, quick, I recommend you to use, and right now, after the announcement of Monty, there are even more reasons to use it. And I'm not being pay paid for saying this. And so, well, we use also the, uh, the uh, uh, application building uh, a standard proposal by the people of Gemstone. We de develop in Faro, and using Monticello, we deploy uh, on Gemstone. Uh, we s use uh, uh, Topaz scripts because we want to make the history, but and Metacello wasn't there at the mo at the moment. But uh, I'm I'm thinking on using Metacello in couple of months or something for that. But uh, we use the old version of, uh, of Glass using Seaside 2.8 and the old version of Reef using Prototype and Scriptaculous and jQuery. Uh, uh, the, uh, another implementation of jQuery than the one who is present now in Seaside 3.0 because in Seaside 2.8, wasn't uh, uh, there? There wasn't a jQuery implementation. So Sebastian Sastre, which is a friend of mine who lives and works in, uh, lives in Brazil and works in, in Smalltalk too, uh, made the first version. I, I added a lot of plugins and I using that. But of course, Reef now uses the uh, package made by Lucas, which is a lot better. <laughs> uh, and we use a Magrit. I'm also uh, also a Magrit lover. I'm going to found a fan club al also because once you uh, understand how it is supposed to work, it's so easy to make anything with Magrit. And if you see here, oops, I'm not. I have five minutes more. More. <laughs> yeah. This is Magrit, this is Magrit. <laughs> Even this is Magrit. <laughs> Magrit, well, this is Magrit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is integrated, uh, there is an integration, but just in some components. I'm thinking about making a Magrit brief and I have, yeah, uh, I'm already, yeah means already in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> I'm already have a, a first design with some tests, but I didn't have the time to, to make a complete Magrit brief. But there will be there because I love Magrit. And there is, it, it's even, I'm even making a Magrit Mars. <laughs> it's not ready, I, that's why I, not showing because <laughs> but Magrit solves most of my problems with non-complex uh, form uh, uh, accessing or reports accessing. So why not having 
if it's possible. And we, as you can see, we use a lot of Ajax too. We use uh, reCAPTCHA in a component integrated with Magrid. You just uh, add a de reCAPTCHA descriptor and you have your form validated. You, we use image, ima image magic, image magic. That, that's how, uh, uh, to conversion because we have, we use the different sizes of the pictures people can upload. We manage and we use a uh, Magrid component we is able to manage that too. Uh, and share this, with, I didn't find uh, a reason to integrate it with Magrid, with, with some time I will do it because why not? Uh, uh, the other thing we use is a uh, centralized mechanism for storage. We use, of course, gemstone storage, but uh, in a fashion and own way, uh, which allows you to say, for example, client select many and a block and obtain all of that, and, this, uh, and cli a client save, and it's, it's, it's rich, uh, very uh, stupid. And, uh, tool, but it's very useful because we, uh, it, it allows us to uh, program the same way in Faro than Gemstone and become uh, centralized and for example the full backup and restore was trivial because uh, we can use passive object from so just one object and have uh, the, the old uh, graph of objects saved <laughs> and it just works. And the other, this slide, it will be uh, quick because I'm already talked about this like half an hour, so uh, we can skip this. Uh, this is Reef. I, in fact, I started Reef uh, for this project, and there are, there was some minor problems that I think there are not existing anymore. At least most of them. For example, uh, there are some messages I I use uh, before uh, I uh, I was using before, and like if not Nildu and uh, Asmon, which were not present on on Gemstone, and just uh, copy and paste, copy and faro and paste and, and and glass, and it's working. There are others which they're present, but with different implementations sometimes uh, working very different and that's the bigger problem but with an abstraction layer and uh, one solution in Faro and work solution in, in Gemstone is enough and not hard at all and for, for example uh, image, image, image magic uh, uses OS process in Faro and uses system server system I don't remember why in in Gemstone, and so I abstracted the system call and called that, and okay. And Hyper had some problems at first start, and well, our solution was just changing to fast CGI and not problem at all, and th that's all. Uh, in fact, the uh, Gemstone recommendation is using fast CGI, I think, uh, if I, no, I remember well. So just follow the rules and you will be happy. So that was all. It was short because uh, I took a lot of time in my other presentation, but uh, this is the tool. So uh, some question, anything? Nothing. Okay. Ah, yeah. So are you running on the, do you have the whole machine? Or are you running on a slice on a machine? At, you're running in a site at Nether, on the Netherlands? Yes. I, uh, do, you have the, do you have the whole machine or do you have, or is this machine shared with some other? I'm really not sure. I think that they say I have a, uh, machine, a full machine. But I didn't uh, went uh, to Netherlands to check it and <laughs> <laughs> I, it, 
can be a slice. Yeah, it could be. I mean, it looked pretty snappy, so I thought it might be a full machine. But yeah. Uh, yeah, thank I don't you. Know. I was looking on uh, Squeak Source, the URL that you mentioned. Yeah. Some of the other packages in that bundle, are those the things like there's a capture one I noticed at the beginning? Yes. Is that what you there were using is, uh, there? Uh, I, uh, my own policy and uh, my company policy, because they are a friend of mine and me, uh, <laughs> uh, is to release as meet everything that is not a client directly related, <laughs> which is not uh, protected. So the recaptcha, uh, the recaptcha Magrid component and a lot of other Magrid components, they are there and in officials. <laughs> That's <laughs> that very generous, thank you. Yeah, no, no uh, okay, thank you very much. I'm sorry for my uh, ugly English and I hope next year it will be better. Okay, so let's have a coffee break and next conference in uh, 20 minutes. Thank you.